Have you ever worked with uh, IDOCs? No, Ganesh. Do you know how many types of IDOCs in SAP? No, Ganesh. Okay, one inbound IDOC and one outbound yeah, IDOC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Inbound so two types. Yeah. Hmm. The monitoring, yeah. like uh, the IDOCs already set up by the implementation team, they are already running for inbound or uh, outbound activities, right? If the activity is not happened, the IDOC will be failed. Okay. So okay. in that case, the IDOC uh, fail, it may be stuck in uh, for outbound, okay. maybe stuck in 51 or any different, different status, it will be stuck so that our support team okay. will get a ticket. This document is not created. The monitoring team, okay, all the failed IDOCs, the data will be sent to the respective team so that uh, the support consultant will open the IDOC and he will go to the W05 or the display of IDOC. That is called uh, IDOC reprocessing, right? No, no, first he, he has to monitor. That's called IDOC monitoring issues, okay? Why okay. it is failed? First he has to go and check it, why it is failed, okay? So he will okay. check it the reason, whether it is a data error or connection error or any network issue, whatever exactly happened, they have to find, they have to find the issue first and uh, then it should be resolved. Once it is resolved, the IDOC will be taken to BD87 transaction and we will reprocess. He will ask user to reprocess. Okay. Yes, we have fixed okay. the issue. Uh, you can, if it is connection related things and all. If it is an issue related to material deletion flag or material is not uh, created in the SAP system, okay, uh, any master data related issue, then we have to ask that user first uh, remove the deletion flag, second, take this IDOC and go to BD87 and reprocess. Let me know any issues. Then he will do that first correction after that reprocessing. So direct reprocessing will be done very rarely. Sometimes um, we need to having any push to that IDOC. At that point of it was uh, just failed okay. because of the network slowdown or uh, the, they are re rebooting that okay. uh, server. Okay, that kind of reasons. But most of the cases, there should be some connection issue. So it should be fixed and then reprocessing should be done. Okay. Or else uh, master data should be fixed and then okay. reprocess okay. these things. Or else stock is not available. So arrange the stock, then reprocess. Then only the goods issue will be performed. Because the error, error is like deficient, uh, deficit of two quantity. Okay. If you reprocess how many times, it will fail. It will give the same error only. No use, right? So how to do that one? Okay, the two quantity is less so that there is some pending goods received and we have to ask that logistics, we have to tell the user, tell your logistics team to do the goods received of this pending PO, okay? So then you do the reprocessing. So you will get a, some stock of 20 pieces. So sufficient stock is available. So when she reprocess that IDOC, system will successfully complete the transaction. Okay. 